ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, Sunday night, fucking swearing already, and I um, back in the game. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Not even going to bother editing it. What are we, 17, 18, something like that? It's like, listen. Like 18, 18, 18 hours of power, son. More than that, because there's other ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We successfully have enough content on the net for us to be deep faked into God knows what else now. <laughs> and here we are. Uh, we, we, we've been discussing this weekend quite a lot with quite a lot of people. Kanye going on JRE because like, at one point, it, it, it's, it's spectacular, right? Like it, hate it, love him, hate him, whatever you want to say. Anyone that sits there and he's like, oh, I'm designing a city at the minute, but because of how dirty they did Tesla and Edison was just an asshole, I'm not doing solar panels. I don't really like solar panels. I'm doing water. You're like, oh, oh, are you? Okay. Well, sure. And uh, at one point, one point, my favorite was, I'm the most successful person you know. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't even asked me what I think, and I'm the most yes, successful. Exactly. <laughs> like, what else do you need to know other than that? Get a load of it. Bam. But, I mean, listen, in fairness, it took, I, I mean, I sent you a message. I'm like, I'm five minutes in, not sure I can do much more of this because uh, I, I've never had anxiety in my life. But listening to that many things all at once, someone's comment nailed it. They're like, it's like listening to three people speaking over each other. One super intelligent, mm. one's not, and one's like a kid. And, yeah. and it is, quite, but I'll let people in on a little known secret. I am not worth $5 billion. So who the fuck am I to judge? Like, clearly the man knows what he's doing and the worst thing is there were two things that really stood out number one it reminded me of billy Connolly sketch who's a genius and you know he'll just speak for like 20 minutes and then bring it back to something he said 20 minutes ago like oh so with his ramblings it was just like and then he'd bring it back somehow so one his ability to actually if you give his time scale long enough mm -hmm. i think that shit does actually link like in his head he yeah. sees all the connection but when you're hearing it you're like Bro, what the fuck are you talking? Like, stick to the question. And second, he did like a little bit of run through. He's like, sorry, what did you say? You said this, this, this. And he was able to run it back. I'm like, there is a method to this insanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, all, all I will describe is um, at the peak of my own issues, at the absolute peak, before I got prescribed on to um, Cetraline, which is generic Zoloft. Maybe he's born with it major, it's Cetraline, boom, after that. Um, <laughs> at the absolute peak, it felt like every second of every minute of your life was like having the most important phone call you've ever had in the busiest pub during like the World Cup final, right? Right. That's, that's literally how it felt. And in the crowd, were was like you could hear like personal snippets coming from the crowd that would derail your conversation and then right. like within like three or four days it had gone like down 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 to just like a hum and then probably about two months in i'd noticed that i'd stopped i mean i'm biting my nails again because the stress of the success of this podcast is immense right? You know what I'm saying? It's right? the abacus for how many millions we're making, right? You just got to rip off a nail each one. It doesn't matter what denomination. Right? <laughs> we could be balls deep in Paraguayan Gurani right now. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Right? Mills is me. <laughs> yeah. Some, Facts. Yeah. We've got some drachma lurking around still. Get some of that. Fucking I feel like it, it, yeah. in homage, we should just like kind of talk on topic and then chat shit for an hour and then come back to it at the end. So, and we've been doing that for like <laughs> yeah. I thought we've been doing that for a while. I've, that's sort of like my brand <laughs> on brand. There we have a little sip on that one. Mm. It's half term next week. I'm shitting myself. <sighs> yes, do you reckon yeah. we'll uh, we'll get jacked up to a new tier? Well. This week has been our biggest, biggest week. And I've been trying to figure out where it is. Could it be something that we call the Thunders effect? Could be, right? To be fair, her her video, you know, our YouTube, we haven't really put that much effort into promo, right? No. I'm well, it's because hoping... we've pretty much been playing catch up just to get the videos up. Yeah, the videos are a nightmare. But it has been very much oh, up to 100, date now. 100%, that's not a cup of tea. Um, 100%. <laughs> 
What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just smashed some Baileys in the microwave, bless him. <laughs> it's always Christmas in the streets. Do you have dog. cameras set up? <laughs> I just, I, I, I see the patterns of addiction. Okay. Okay. Um, but no, this has been our biggest week. We're up 60%. Like massive, Whoop. massive subscriber increase. So that's, that's gone from, um, what, what does that mean? That's, that's, we're at 10 subscribers now. <laughs> After that, um, but no, like we've like doubled numbers. After that, everyone, thank you very thank much. Thank you, for people. Yeah, yeah. Coughcomcuties.com takes you there to the iTunes, Spotify, Patreon.com. Coughcomcuties, boom. And we're gonna we're gonna be launching the college soon. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh shit! Shout out to Does Street for whipping out the name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, um, I might be like a, a, a sex offender teaching assistant more than a professor, to be honest. I might just have like an... I am no getting you that business here. card. It is yeah. happening. Yeah. No Maybe not in a public place. <laughs> browsing history and an intricate knowledge of the glory holes around no, no matter what vicinity I'm in. That's, that's the vibe, right? Here we are. Yeah. Almost got a computer screen full of tea there, mate. Yeah, tea. I think it might be one of them episodes today, you know. I saw what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. The army's finished. Shout out to Steve. Done. Yes, um, looks Other sick. one's about to be done. It's a little bit scabby, but, you know, here we are. Should we get this? Are you leaking on your bed or it's not too bad? Uh, no, no, because all he did was the blossoms. So he just finished ah, right. the blossoms and he's, like, done some whites in there. And when I see you... Ooh, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, I've got like a whole vibe and a whole plan and I'm just sitting there thinking to myself like, I can't ship everything that we need to do as well as, much like Jesus, no matter what it would have been, that first one, that first one had a very, a very specific image in my head of how it had to be. And I don't think it could be done at, at Jesse's caravan or... <laughs> Or yours, especially when it gets towed while we're in it, and he has to jump. Need out a good window. connection yeah. for that. Well, well, you know for a fact that he's breaking a window and just running it through. <laughs> Powerful Jesse, Powerful. But yeah, I am looking quite forward to that. It's going to be a night of feels. It shall all the feels. All the feels. Um, what do you want to do? Should we do boxing first, or should we mix it up the UFC first? Whatever. Uh... Fuck it, let's do UFC first. Ooh. Right. Mixing things up, living on the edge, inspired by Yeezy. Take us through it, bruv. Where'd you All right. Um, I mean, fuck, we can, we'll do quick little snippets, work, work our way through. For once, this was not on in the middle of the night for us. So it was super easy just to watch the card as it happened. So um, it opened with Joel Alvarez. He defeated Alexander Yakolev three minutes since the first round. That was an armbar win. So... There were so many finishes on this card. Like it was a... It's almost wicked... like they incentivize them. Yeah, you, you'd think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, listen, listen, we're in Abu Dhabi. I've got cash and we've got a FedEx account. <laughs> you do the maths. You do the maths. Yeah. Um, Cheers, Uncle Dana. Second up, Miranda um, Maverick defeated Liana... Jujua, man, I was going to practice that, but you know, <laughs> yeah, her, that was a savage elbow that fucking psh, just split the That's top the of the nose. nose. Yeah, man. And like fair play to her because she wanted to keep fighting, but she would not have had a face if that had a kid. That would have been like yeah. Halloween. Don't need a mask. Just because yeah. that was some predator shit, like hard, hard chicks. Um, I would assume the UFC have like second to none plastic surgeons. Like they have you, to, right? On on yeah. on the roller decks. You, I mean, they they pay for the the meds the meds now. Yeah. So you would assume. I mean, it's no good having, like, yeah, say like when when Ronda was the thing. It's no yeah. good having her face all carved up because it costs yeah. you cash. It's no good having Connor's movie all fucking smushed up and deformed. Doesn't do it any good, does it? Yeah. Do you remember when Vandalay got all that work done? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was... yeah, he looked like a trans giraffe, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he really did. Like, I don't know what they did to his face, but they really did a number on him. Bless him. Like, yeah, he... it, 
Yeah. It just took some more punches to put it right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, when he first done it, it's like, oh. And he got back in the cage, took a few, and you're like, yeah, a bit more scar tissue. It needed that. But uh, yeah. fucking love Vanderlei. Yeah, he, he, um, he, he looked weird, didn't he? Yeah. Do you know what? He should probably be the first MMA history episode. Because, like, the stories about him, like, knocking out someone or getting knocked out before a fight over a bet and then going out and fighting. You're like, ah, mate. What are you doing? Mate, Shootbox did not fuck around. Like, mm. f- I'm well up for that. I fucking love Vanderlei. Um, did, um, did he need, like, sleep Shogun over a dog? Yeah. A puppy? Yeah. Fine, fine. Uh, why not? Why wouldn't you? W- um, so I did a seminar with him, and, I, like, I'm going to say about 10 minutes of it was just how to set up the perfect stomp. Ooh. Like, fr- pride rules, you know, like, and this... Actually, it's quite an intricate thing. Like a lot yeah. of it, you're like, oh, yeah, shit. When you say it like that, I would have just gone for this and got swept. But would you have just done you it? Say... Would you have just done like the De Niro Joe Pesci with the tongue out? <laughs> you motherfucker, Jew. I would go on American History X and flipped them around, you know, like by the curb. There yeah. are rules. Well, um, where were we? So we're at Sam Alvey and Da Undung. I mm-hmm. cannot remember what happened, but I actually missed this fight. It went to the decision. Um, it was ruled a split draw. I will have to catch up on that one. Did you see that one by chance? Nah. Or did, yeah, because it was pre early prelim. Yeah. So, um, oh man, here we go. All right, Shavkat Rachmanov. <laughs> I think that's pretty close. That's not bad. <laughs> Defeated okay. Alex Oliveira. Um, that was by Guillotine. He moves to 13 and 0. all 13 of his um, finish, uh, all 13 wins by finish. Okay. Awesome debut. You know, I mean, can't ask for much more than that. Keep the train rolling on the big show. Sweet. Yeah. Um, and then we start moving into it. So we had Casey Kenny versus Nathaniel Wood. Prospect shout out. That was um, like 40 as well. Uh, was it? Was that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like catch yeah. weight one forty. Yeah. Do you reckon they're testing out new divisions? I don't know. Like, um, I know there's a bunch of catch weights that happened this weekend alone, mm. but all of them were pretty that I know of were on the boxing side, and yeah. that was from replacements because of COVID, where they're like, mm-hmm. "Look, I'll fight, but I'm fucking, I'm not on weight," and they're like, "Okay, just yep. crack on." I'm not sure what happened there, to be fair. Mm. Um, but what a fight! Like. Great fight. Um, a, a bit biased. Like I, I was hoping uh, Wood was going to get the nod on that one, but I mean, you can't. Either way, it was a fucking wicked fight. The gas tanks on both of them, yep. speed, accuracy, um, and Kenny shout out because that's two fights, two wins in one month. So that's good going. Yeah, I wonder he got the bonus. Like, yeah, he got man. the bonus. But, yeah, but that was great. It was just like it was what it was a stand scrap. Up fucking like it was. It was ones where the heads were snap him back and the hair shimmering and he's just like all right let's carry on then yeah man the beards on them they just kept taking shots kept giving shots and you're like i mean surely the pace is going to slow and just nah it just didn't just didn't that that was a quality fight and that's one of the that's a great one because it's like no one's stock goes down from that like you lose in a fight like that who gives a fuck just keep them fights coming no loving it um just to clear something up in the technicalities at the end of it when they were awaiting the decision Nathan Wood had the St. George's cross wrapped around him, right? Yep. That wasn't patriotism. That was anti-COVID, right? That was how he stays COVID free. <laughs> I just want to let everyone know that now. That's the secret. Okay. Anyway, please continue. Isn't it to be 100% safe? You also need the uh, X-ray uh, that, CBD I mean, spray. No, 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 no. What that will do, that will cure you if you get it. So I see. Get, okay. Okay. Without your nation's flag. <laughs> that's how you do it. Xbrain.co.uk, about 30%. <laughs> Shall we continue? So then um, S- Stefan Struve was up, who is an exceptionally tall motherfucker. Jesus Christ, 6'11 and it's something and some change. That's a, problem. That's a, that's a big boy. But uh, Tai Tuvasa, shout out. Um, he just smashed him out. The uppercut was huge. Uh, what was it? The second? No, end of the first it was. Uh, jumped over the cage, tried to get his shoey in. Fucking haters wouldn't let him. You know, whatever. Well, got the win. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to have to drink beer from a shoe later. Um, Struve's been around for a while, hasn't he? I thought he like had a yeah. near fatal heart defect. and. Do you know been through like, the ringer, mate. 
I don't think I've ever heard him speak, but I would imagine he's got like that giganticism voice. You, you know what I mean? When they've got that weird like Andre the Giant vibe. I would yeah, assume he's, gonna, he's got that. He's going to have the like Dutch-esque um, accent to it too, isn't it? So Yeah. Yes, I am here to say to you that you shock my cock. <laughs> All of you. I think that's exactly what the post fight was. Yeah, yeah well, that's what happened in the hotel afterwards. <laughs> um, yeah. Right. Go on. Next, uh, Magomedov, Magomed Ankalev versus oh. Jon Kutalaba. Ankalev murdered that geezer. He, he, he did. Right. And just to just to put uh, because the first time round, um, Kutalaba was like that was a that was a short stoppage. He did not leave any questions this time. He was just no. like. Yeah. No, the, the, he landed a shot that made him spin, which was big, <laughs> right? And then he got back up like he was doing a Russian dance, all good. And then he fucking ironed him, right? He wasn't kind on the floor, was it? It wasn't a tactical, <laughs> like, I'm going to finish this. He tried to kill a fucker. <laughs> he really, really, really wanted just to do some damage. Yeah, he wasn't leaving questions this time. No, he was he like, really all right. You want it again, fucking yep. have it again. He really, really did. But that, that was a very quick one. Um, yeah, it smacked him down twice, wasn't it? First round <laughs> KO, so big, yeah, big there. Yeah, yeah. Um, next was Lauren Murphy versus Lilia Shakarova. I think yep. it was Shakarova's debut in the UFC. Yeah, um, Justin Bieber, didn't she, in a rash guard? <laughs> she was. <laughs> She did. I was I was praying for some analogies because I was like I don't know how to sum this up. Yeah. Robbie will have this one nailed. I'm just yeah, gonna let that one. Like, yeah. She looked like she looked like she looked like baby 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 oh Bieber <laughs> in a fucking rash guard. <laughs> it was bad. Well, she got yeah. put to sleep like him too. So um yeah. and Chechnya and bulk up, bless her. Like just fix it. <laughs> it was so bad. But yeah, she got uh, slept out, didn't she? And Murphy's post-fight interview was potentially longer than the fight itself. Like, yeah. I, I'm just, it seemed, very, it, it was very point. It looked like it'd been rehearsed in front of a mirror. Mm. So I'm glad she got the win and got the opportunity to say it. But um, yeah. Is there any so. way that Murphy hasn't done a decent amount of crystal meth? Because she, <laughs> she looked a little bit methy, didn't she? She looked, she's quite scary. Yes. Yeah. 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 She looked a little bit estate mummy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, big. Very wide shouldered. Yeah. Very wide shouldered. Yeah. Ang- Put to ang- good use too. Yeah, angular face. But yeah, she's yeah. a bad she's she's a baddie. She's um scary. Speaking <sighs> of scary, the Phil Hawes Jacob Malcoon fight. Yeah, that that was another face down beating. Yeah. That was that All 18 seconds of it. Fuck me. Uh that was smashed bad. him down and then followed up heavy. Another guy that wasn't fucking about. It's no. just like, you ain't paying overtime. Let's no. get this done. I assume that there was a, 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 a meeting for the fighters on that card, which was, we are paying for finishes, right? We're, we're, seen that. Maybe we're, you yeah, only get to fly home if you finish them. Otherwise you're here until the next card yeah. until you fucking get a finish. Yeah. They're, they're like, you know, we, we have the cash. We are in Abu Dhabi. And we will sort you out. Make it happen. We want big numbers on this one. And they fucking did it because Jesus Christ. And I mean, one of the few ones that didn't, the Whitaker fight, which we'll get to in a sec, was a sick fight anyway. So great fight. Yeah. They were just bangers from start to finish. Um, um Volcom Harris. Yes. And, and it was can, uh, we, can we can we very quickly just go over the immense back tat on Volko- Volkov? Right? How are you going to have a skull tattooed on your back? Like, it's just, it's a sore look. Like, he, he beat the fuck out of him, right? Like, no no doubts about it. He's he's a bad boy. But yep. whenever you see them with the, the all black, like, ankle supports, you're like, oh, someone's <laughs> getting it, aren't they? Someone's <laughs> getting it. And they did. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm glad. I mean, I'm totally going to break it because I'm going to talk about it now. But I'm glad that Harris has had a fight since um, the loss of his daughter so that it's not always like brought up. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, you know, worth bringing up just because obviously it's such a tragic thing. And like for him to continue fighting is massive. Yeah. So, um, you know, always fun. wishing well out there. But fucking yeah. hell, Volkov just that that kicked to the solar plexus. He toe punched oh. him in the belly. Mate, is what he Jose did. Gracie 
out, out, fucking nailed me with one of them. And I was like, so surprised. You know, when you're like, like, love, like, that was wicked. And you can't even get the words out. You're like, oh my God. <laughs> I felt like my heart was like in my spine. Um, yeah, it was one of them, but oh. fucking more. And then follow up punches. That was just, that was a dirty finish. That What's did it? not look comfortable very dirty finish and you know it doesn't matter how hard you are right when you get something like that and it just, oh. you just you just get the big toe right in your <laughs> diaphragm and it's just you're just done aren't you you're just done there's an awkward amount of pain going on and you just oh fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> yeah it makes you rethink all your life decisions that fucking yeah. woo. but um yeah great finish then we had um robert whitaker jared cannonier yeah, sick, sick, sick fight. As we yeah. said, it did it did go the distance. Whitaker, Whitaker fucking hell, the he best I've seen fantastic. him for a long time. Yeah, he looked he looked loose. He looked really sharp on the hands. His boxing looks like it's come a long way. He he's striking. He, he looked wicked, Whitaker. And it's you know whenever people get the win, they say, oh, you know, like I've been battling health issues, and you know I'm feeling the best I ever have. And a lot of time, it's like lip service. Mm-hmm. Like it's so, like. He legitimate seems to be because he fucking went through this, that, and everything. Yeah. Like it, there was so like much knee going. and shoulder, then knee again, and yeah. And then do you remember he had like the whole gut thing as well, oh, and uh, yeah. th- there was all sorts of shit going on. Um, but yeah, so it seems like he's well. He looked fantastic. He did. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure he wants it. it I reckon it'd be nice to get one more in before you go on Adesanya again. You know, like to go straight back to that is. But it's if they want to do that, isn't it? Exactly. When the when the offer's there, and you know how quickly the landscape can change. Mm-hmm. But um, it, you know, they were kind of setting that up for Canonier if he won. That didn't yeah. happen. Dana said he's all up for the rematch. So mm. let's do it. Yeah, yeah. But it. he the, the he looks is, sick. Yeah, he, he sells. He speaks well. He yeah. looks the part. He he looks exactly what you want as a UFC like flag holder, don't he? Like, yeah, know. and just up for it too. Like, yeah. holy fuck. His fights with Romero, you could watch on repeat forever. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, he's just always in a war. Um, yeah, awesome fight. This, no exception. Cannon, yeah, holy shit. How do you go through that many weight divisions? Like, he's like the reverse Rumble Johnson. You yeah. know, he's going down like... But yeah. um, he's still a scary fucking dude. Like, that dude has power so mad respect to Whitaker yeah, and, for and, and to be fair he did rally a little bit yeah like he done he, he come back into it a little bit like it was a, a clear Whitaker win yeah but you know it wasn't it wasn't without it wasn't a clean like yeah breezing. yeah, yeah. yeah it was great. I made him work for it okay then we got we got the main event main event um I wanted personally I wanted Gaethje because I like how aggravated he is at all times i just like how angry he is i like he's got he's, he's got that angry boy face about him isn't he he's just yep. got that angry yep. face but let's be honest it didn't happen did it yeah it's look I, to me the question was because khabib you, you just can't bet against that guy right no the the thing is with like a tragic lot like when someone's so close to someone Mm -hmm. like the jordan effect like jordan when his father passed he's like i fuck i don't want this anymore you know the first time that's why and i really thought that would be the case with khabib i was actually genuinely surprised that he fought gaiji and i was like okay wicked which could be so part of me is like look he's the utmost professional he's not going to get in that cage half arsing it but i'm like maybe they're holding a contract over his head i don't know and i was like if he's not 100 this could be interesting but if khabib gets hands on you that's a yeah you know like look you can't gagey has cannons for hands he will put anybody out right the thing that was interesting about this is that gagey is an all-american level wrestler Right. So if anyone in that division was going to have the ability to stand, no, no one's asking him to, no one's asking him to beat Khabib on the ground. All yep. you're asking for is to be adequately defensed and adequately able to get back to your feet, which you would assume that you had the distinct advantage. Yeah. yeah. Um, no. And also too, like, it was mentioned in the pre fight. It's like American wrestling and the Russian style of wrestling are different. very different things to yeah. to start off with. So even like a lot of the the, the tactics it's it and the mm. way Khabib does things and there's no one that does it like him. Do you know what I mean? No. He's just like 
he's fucking wrestling bears as a child. Like <laughs> the guys are and yeah, those are pretty intense videos, aren't they? Them. Like, yeah, you're actually like everyone jokes and things like that. But no, he, he actually is. Well, he's got to be what? Six max. Something like that. He looks tiny. Yeah, and, he looks six ish. And he's and wrestling Cormier, who, a you, bear cub. Yeah. And, you know, Cormier knows a thing or two about wrestling. Yep. When he's talking all the, about the strength of the guy mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter what weight he's against and yep. talking about working with him and he mm -hmm. does this and that. It's like that is insane. That's a lightweight with a heavyweight. And yeah. And Luke Rockhold said the same. Like when yeah. he when he trains with fifty fivers and seventy years, like he just throws them around, and he's just like, "You, you got your, you really got your hands full with Khabib." And let's be honest, he absolutely fucking honor beat Gaethje. <laughs> yeah, he really did. He gave it a full on like, you know where this is going, right? You know exactly where this is going. He attacked Gaethje like he caught him bukkake his sister. All of the Gaethje team, right? Every single one of them. And he gave him a beating for his people, the Dagestan, yeah. and he was not accepting it. He, yeah. Do you know what my favorite part about the whole fight was? It wasn't even the grappling part. It was just literally walking like a, 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 a soccer kicking hooligan and just like, just kicking him in the belly. Like it wasn't... <laughs> They were, there was no technique to him. It was just like, it was just like, I'm just kicking you, right? I'm just kicking you and you can't do anything about it. And he was wearing some big leg kicks as well. Yeah. The, li listen, he was eating leg kicks, but I was amazed that he was down on the scorecards yeah. by two of the scorecards. Was, what the yeah. fuck are these people watching? Come on now. Even at the end of it, he, 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 did, he finished the fight in exactly the way that he finished round one. He just didn't get the time to do the proper yeah. setup. Like, what were you watching? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what you were watching, but like, he he's terrifying. He fucking is. And like, so when you say with the ag, Khabib to me seems to epitomize just the repressed, like there will be murders if I let what's inside out. So I'm just going to channel it here. And what that is the epitome of uh, martial arts, what you want yeah. in every sense, you know what I mean? For MMA brilliant but just on every sense the humility the respect the dedication and just i mean that post fight fucking hell that'll make it anyone tear up like yeah. just the way he broke down and then saying my mother i gave her my mm -hmm. words i'm out i mean fucking yeah. love that guy and thank gaiji he's like you you yeah. had me in 16 i haven't forgotten that like whatever yeah. um there was no there was no conflict between them two at, uh, uh, other than maybe a little bit of promo, but it looked like it was it was just pretty amicable all the way. Yeah, uh, I like. I, I think the way that he, when he grabbed hold of him and got him to the floor before the finish, it, again, it's it's not like anything you've seen before. It's like it's like watching like first generation BJ when you used to saw when you saw BJ because he had a very different type of jujitsu. Yeah wasn't Gracie-esque, right? And he seemed to have like, he would give it the the heel kicks into the sternum while he's holding you and then he would choke you out, right? Khabib while his legs are wrapped around himself. Exactly. <laughs> Khabib has that sort of like mysterious, how are you doing that? But he does it with just like, it's all, it, there's not, it's it's a perfect mix of raw power and perfect technique, and it is. I was gonna say, it, it, I mean, it, clearly it's technique, but that you can just see the fucking power mm. in everything, and the way he crosses their legs over does not look comfortable. That looks like no. fucking hell. No, but what it does do is put into perspective that Connor didn't actually do that bad. Mm. I don't think he did yeah. that bad, considering considering the layoff, considering all in, right? Yeah. I was amazed that he shut that first takedown. When he stuffed that first one, I was like, oh, shit, we might have a fight. But then when mm. Khabib lamped him, I was like, oh, shit. It's yeah. like what you thought the person would have the advantage of is mm -hmm. reverse. And when, when he nailed Connor, I was like, <laughs> yeah. uh, this is going down according to plan. But, yeah, I mean, like, he, he swans off into the sunset. The money that he's made, which 10, 15 mil? I fucking hope it's a lot. Deserves it's it. a decent amount. It goes a long way in Dagestan. Let me just yeah, say that. 29 and 0. That buys him a lot of Kalashnikovs for the brothers. <laughs> but listen, that's not even a country. That's an autonomous region. At any moment, old Vladdy P says, Oi, we need you lot. And they're like, all right, we'll put on the fucking bear heads and we're in we go. Yeah. <laughs> Jump in the back of the Ford Wrangler and we're off. 
So he's probably just got a fleet of pickup trucks ready to go. <laughs> like he's he's probably got a compound. He's ready. Powerful. I, I feel like this is the five minute long gong. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. This is all just fine. This is fact. Autonomous region for sure. Google it. Notice that they don't even put the Dagestani flag up. They just say Dagestan, Russia. Dagestan's got a flag. Uh, Dagestan's for sure got a flag. They've all got flags. They just, they just like, yeah. <laughs> Vladdy P says, and we're like, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, if Vladdy P says something, I'd listen to. I think we all would. I think we all would. <laughs> On that note, um, I watched Borat last night and I was pleasantly surprised. Right. Let's be honest. It wasn't ever going to live up to the first one. It can't. The surprise uh, factor's gone. Subsequent movie film has to be one of the best names of a fucking sequel ever. Perfect. Perfect. It it is well worth a watch. It's highly enjoyable. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it four out of five. It has some sensational lines. It has a couple of lines in it where you're just like, sick. <laughs> <laughs> and then when it was finished, I was sitting there thinking about like the Gen Zs and millennials that all went a little bit mad about friends being on PC and like Sasha un- doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Sasha doesn't give a fuck at all. Sasha doesn't give a fuck. He, um, yeah, he really doesn't. And decent, decent, well worth a watch. Fisting. Fisting. Uh, where are we starting, my good man? We do the Mexico card, and then we'll yes. do the, the the Showtime slash PBC, whatever it is. Yeah. Um. So that Mexico card, six have the fights in Mexico. That was right. awesome. I was very confused because it seemed like every single fight was for the WBC fucking flyweight title, right? <laughs> That's so true. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. were they like? It, it, all of them? Was it just like the? <laughs> Every single one of those fights was for a WBC flyweight title. Don't forget, mate, we got the pearl, we got the diamond. Got... Yeah, yeah, I know, but, like, there were rules, isn't there? It was I just hand much. them out. It was an uh, uh, entrance but fee. I thought maybe one of them was for super flyweight, but I don't think it was. They were all literally... I thought they did the, the graphics wrong. Um, oh. But, yeah, so on the undercard of that, there was Diego Pacheco versus Juan Antonio Mendez. Um, fuck, oh, mate, but <laughs> exactly. Mendes is actually, is it like when the commentators say that you're a part time boxer, full time cable guy, and you're, actually, you're like, oh, mate, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, okay, it's gonna be that kind of party, huh? All right, all right. Well, <laughs> okay. I mean, to be fair, like. He's probably got the the ratio right based on that fight. I mean, Pacheco looks like a giant. Holy shit! He looks huge, um, didn't he? Yeah. Um, so was he now? He's ten and 0, 8 knockouts. I mean, just smashed him. The uppercut at the end was huge. It was yep. just a demolition job. Twenty twenty really is much. the year of uppercut finishes, isn't it? Oh, mate, really is. Really yeah, is. we said we said that and dirty body shots as well. There's yep. been some. Dirty body shots. It really has. Um, Julio Cesar Martinez versus Moises Galleros. Um, that, was, that was good. But he come in, that, he, that was the one where he come in heavy, didn't he? Calleros. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, five pounds heavy. Not that it helped. But um, he's one that, in fairness, did take it on a week's notice. Um, who was he supposed to fight that? Maximino Flores. Yeah. Um, he tested positive for the vid. So... Yeah. What a performance from Martinez, man. Like, his stance switching mm-hmm. was beautiful. He had, like, it was almost Roy Jones-esque the way he yeah. fought. He had, like, the triple left hooks. Yep. He Didn't had the single and jab left hooks. Did it? Yeah, <laughs> no, none. It was like, fuck that. Um, like, no jab. And 112 pounds, that dude cracks. Holy mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. Um, it was essentially a legalized assault. It was a beatdown. Yeah. Um, awesome was, performance it- from Martinez. It was um it was one of the stoppages when it when it actually finally got stopped where it he went straight up the middle and he landed big and his head snapped back but his hands just were like right there like he was ready for the cuddle like it, and it was like the ref did a good job there he was like right that no no no, no, no. Yeah, yeah 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 you don't need no more no 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 we're all right now yeah it was it was it was a big stoppage that 
Uh, what we got? Martinez. Uh, well, we got Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Chocolatito. Yeah, I mean, Chocolatito. Like forty nine and two, right? He's, he's again. He's another one. They were chatting about him pound for pound twenty five minutes ago. Exactly, and, and then, then, then no one tight. knows what he's doing. He's fighting in some show in a studio <laughs> in Telemundo. Like, no one knows what he's doing anymore, right? Mate, listen, the skill on that dude is yeah. insane. He is one, though, like, I mean, it's not like he was ever extravagant, but no. his losses, he did did seem to, he did seem to come back different from then. Mm. I mean, it, I mean, the sec- it was the second one that he got sparked. Yeah, that was a devastating KO. Yeah. Losing the first one is a shot. That was a hell of a fight. The KO was big, but mm. it was almost like for the first round, Gonzalez, uh, like Israel Gonzalez started off, I'm going to call him Chocolatito and Gonzalez yep. because they're both Gonzalez and it's going to be confusing. So um, Israel started really well in the first and it was like Chocolatito just did seem a little bit hesitant. And you could see like halfway through the seconds, it was just he relaxed into it and then Chocolatito became Chocolatito and mm-hmm. beautiful, beautiful performance. Um, started. It's the pressure. The pressure he applies is just constant and fucking relentless and um where israel had his moments that will never battle against someone who is accurate with it it's not just crazy pressure for like throwing at nothing it's tactical it's set up he was mixing levels head body oh both of them have beautiful uppercuts so to be fair um and interesting when uh, israel turned pro chocolatito was already 40 and 0 with 35 knockouts that's a pretty sobering yeah. perspective. There was yeah. 10 years between them. Not that you could tell. Like, Chuck no. Latito looked. So it looked like he could go another fight. Um, at the end of the day, Israel was, yeah, he, he was overmatched. But when you're in there with Chuck Latito, nothing to, no. nothing to say. And that seems to set up a rematch with our main event. Juan, Frasqui, Fran, Juan Francisco Estrada and Carlos Cuadras. What? A motherfucking fight that was. They were flat-footed and just bashing. Before we go into technicalities, I want to I want to talk to you very quickly about the epic back knee. On (laughs) yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, saw that, um... saw that, and like took up a lot of the screen a lot of time. Like, "Mm, have we done testing on this one? Like, well, this is what I'm wondering. I'm like, do you know what they've done? They've obviously done all of the gear that they need to do and then they've done a covid test and that's come back negative and they're like we're negative we've done a test yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah yeah and you're in mexico so they go yeah he's done a test it's negative what do you want <laughs> like but he he had like bad back knee yeah bad bad back knee and i i don't want to i don't want to accuse or even speculate but he, but we are but I am. <laughs> he may be on some um some liver toxicity issues just saying um, yeah that was, it was actually like really noticeable yeah yeah and he's he's he also has the face that that has been punched a lot doesn't he like he, he really really does oh it, quality fight though oh quality. my god that was a throwback fight that was like a late 80s 90s style yeah. just toe-to-toe war like don't need a ring put it in a phone box yeah we're good um so estrada for chocolatito when was it 2012 he lost that but that was back at 108 pounds he's kind of followed in him up and this seems 108, to you know isn't that crazy um so he's got the WBA, isn't it? And then Chocolatito's got WBC, one of the thousand WBC belts. So <laughs> that was set up. Um, yeah, so he went down, didn't he? Yeah, he uh, Estrada went down in the third round. Yeah. Which that was a big shot. All of them were big shots. They, they were, were throwing fucking everything behind every shot. Quite just got dropped twice in the 11th mm-hmm. and then the ref jumped in to stop it. It was a good stoppage. Yeah, it really it was. was. Stoppage because it was on the cusp of him probably getting near slept, if not flawed and bad. The head was really yeah. starting to rattle. It really was. like, And he, he didn't look like he was just like, oh, fair, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He, he'd done the bet. But in fairness to him, even on the way out, like I thought, oh, he's done. And then he just rallied. And yeah. I was like, where that, is this that, coming from? That was from? the flicker before the flame went. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and, but still to have that in the tank in the 11th, fucking hell. How wild was the fifth round? Like the fifth round was just like they, they just went, all right, we're Mexicano, man. And they <laughs> yeah, just they yeah. just 
punt. Like, like uh, they, they just literally fought, fought. I understand it's a professional boxing match, but they, they were fighting each other. Yeah. Just pure fist fighting. There wasn't really much to it. It was like bite down, swear. Yeah. Hopefully one of you goes down and it's not me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Worth worth. Start to finish, back and forth battle. Definitely watch that one. Yeah. Uh, Martinez versus Morero on the, the Showtime card. Yep. Quality, right? Quality, quality fight. Martinez um, Martinez kind of has like that Dagestani kind of look about him. He's like jet black with the beard, combination puncher. Got dropped twice in like the eighth, bad. Yep. And still kind of eked out a bit of a, a win. It was... Like I'm, it was one of the ones where you're like, mm. Mm. like the last, the last part of the fight plus two knockdowns. I mean, you you would be calling for at least a draw. Uh, right. He, he's um. Yeah, because he would have wanted to be pretty convincing up until then. Like essentially, yeah, what you're four and, and rounds it, down, and it and it wasn't. Um, Marrero's got kind of like a a, a Lara vibe. He's got like uh. that kind of he, he's got that kind of vibe. That kind of movement is. You know, the only thing that you could say is that he was um, giving up a few shots. Yeah. And he was trying to be a little bit too cute. And he would get caught a little bit. But they weren't, there was nothing really of substance coming either way. It was a bit of a chess match. And then he just got like drop coof um, twice. <laughs> Dro- your proper drop coof. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like a, a, a right hook. It was like the ones that come. <laughs> <laughs> Have a bit of that. Yeah. It was that. But good fight. They, they, you know, Martinez is clearly one that they want politically, I guess, to progress. Whatever. Uh, and that's and, what's going to happen. And Limpinets versus, I can't, Clayton. Good fight. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Um, I thought they was a little bit strong on the draw with Clayton, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And like... Watching it, like, I didn't know that he was such a last-minute replacement, too. So, fucking bonus points, man. It is one of those ones, though, where... Because the only person who made a decision gave it to him. Like, they gave it to yeah. Clayton, even though uh, Lipinets is clearly the bigger name. Yeah. The other two judges gave it a draw, which was that. And it's like... Lipinets was definitely throwing the bigger shots, and he was yeah. busy, but... I mean, Clayton but they, was, but, but they weren't. Was, they weren't affected. Yeah. It, it was. Uh, yeah, it no, was, for sure. What yeah. Clayton did, it's just it wasn't the eye catching shots. But when you watch it, that's it's not about eye catching. It's about who's landing more. And like Clayton was sticking and moving fucking beautifully. Yeah. And then down into the fight, he started sitting down more. Yeah. And um, having at it. And um, what well, Clayton was a, an Olympian before mm-hmm. this is his first time out of Canada. He yeah. deserves big show. I'm glad they didn't put a loss on him. Yeah. So, you know, with the draws, you're like, oh, okay, like it could have been worse. Um, but yeah, I thought the same. I thought they, they kind of did a bit dirty. You can, like I said, it, I don't want to take away from Libnitz because he did put on a good fight, mm. but um, uh, yeah, I think Clay, Clayton was tagging him up with the, yeah. the. He was behind that jab the whole time, and people say, "Oh, he was running." Look, he was using footwork. Was I don't think. It, yeah, I don't think. I don't think it was like every time. Every time there was a replay, you would literally just see that that little fade back and a little drop over a cup, like a good few times. He, to me, he looked like he was um, like matadoring more so than running. Yeah. For for the majority of the fight, he had a spearing jab to the the body and to the chin, like he. I, I, I thought Clayton should have probably edged it, and that's that's for the mandatory place for the Spence Garcia winner, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't know what happens now with a draw. Do they do a rematch with that? If they do a rematch with that. You would have to say that probably Clayton takes it, unless they yeah, win. yeah. Which I mean, you, never ruled that out. Could do. Um, on one of the fights, it was um, Showtime commentary. And they joked and they said, do you want to use my card? Because it's probably going to be better than the judges cards. <laughs> they did that. It was, it was jokes along that line. And it was like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> bit too soon for that. Yeah, this is where we've come. This is yeah. where we've come. Um, and we got Malik Hawkins and Subriel Matias. Yeah? Or, yeah, yeah. 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 Simon Phoenix. Yeah. Demolition man. <laughs> so so him, man. Yeah. Um that was that was 
Mateus, Mateus, whatever it is, maybe the angriest fighter I've seen for a long time. Like he is so unbelievably aggressive. His hands were down. He was like giving people the evil eye all the way through. I mean, first of all, the other geezer had albino ape on his on his shorts. Not sure about all that. <laughs> and and yeah, it's, it was a big look. It was a big yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it kind of it kind of looked like those um those seventies soul jive dudes who who are all about the kung fu that they've made up. They're studying the arts because he had the big sideburns and the big like he, he yeah you know he looked just like walked onto the set of into the dragon straight yeah. into the ring. <laughs> Do you remember the dude who had the nunchucks and then he gave it the backflip but he knocked himself out? Oh yeah, I yeah the I classic. actually know him. The, do you? <laughs> Discuss. Shout out Mark Hicks. He's actually a fucking amazing stunt guy. Um, right. uh, when I was in Hong Kong, he was on a film called Ultraviolet uh, that I was on. Okay. And that's uh, a proper flex, isn't it? That's a proper uh, flex. No, if you've seen the movie, man. Like, right, okay. <laughs> but um, uh, interesting side note: there's a producer out yeah. there that he kind of does this thing where he takes the some people out for drinks and. Um, he likes to sing and you got to like do like sort of demonstrations in the club mm. and it's all well and good at the start of the night. Mm. Um, so we, we did that and then we got hammered and then at the end of the night he wanted another and I'm like, mate, I'm steaming. I can barely see the floor. And anyway, he's like, do it. You'll never work on uh, his productions again. You know, half joking. And so I took off for a flip, kicked the table, landed on my face and just oh. gave it like, the lizard look like because my nose, you know, is already flat. So it was here. My eyes immediately puffed up. Uh, there was just blood everywhere. And it was for Hong Kong, like quite a famous actress's birthday. Yeah. And he was like, you're fucking lucky I didn't film that. Otherwise, you would be in the next Afro Ninja, which is what they called Mark Hicks yeah, on yeah, that yeah, video yeah, yeah. with the nunchucks. Um, he's like the thing. is, He's awesome. Like skill, like, fantastic. But it, you know, you'd just always be remembered for that. So um oh. But yeah, great guy, great martial arts, great stud team. But yeah, that happened as well. <laughs> my um, my hetero life mate was in. He's been in one film. <laughs> that film was called Beginners and Minions, Volume One, and he filled in for his friend. <laughs> and he banged his mate's wife because his mate bang broke his cock, and he um, <laughs> he went to a Holiday Inn or a travel lodge or something in Harlow, and he yeah, I was like, well, that's you, that's you not running for PM again, isn't it? Beginners and mink. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He was, and you know what the worst part about it was? He went, not overly happy with the edit. I was like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> the storyline just doesn't touch me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They didn't really convey my my inner truth enough for me. I'm like, you're hanging your, your mate who's a minger in Harlow. Uh, no, no, no. But yeah, shout out to my hetero life, mate. Boom. <coughs> Your um your film story is better than mine. <laughs> I don't think so, mate. Yeah, I think it definitely is. It definitely is. Yours includes a viral superstar. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, oh, uh, wait. What were we doing, Mateus? Yeah, Simon Phoenix, right? Oh yeah. He put an aggressive beating on um he, on Hawkins. Like yeah, he, yeah. He bullied. And uh, that was his first loss as well. Drops to eighteen and one. Um, that Matthias. 16 and one. So he does have one loss, but all of his 16 mm -hmm. wins are by knockout. So fucking. I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised. He he fights like you're trying to steal from him. He don't like it. <laughs> he really does. Well, he's stopping it's like trying to grab yeah. Loma. It's yeah. like you're going to bring the beast out, son. You don't want that. You don't want that. But no, he's stopped making that crap. Making that highlight. Um, shout out, check out Coffee and Combat Cuties on Insta. There you go. In um, it, in it. The, 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 um, the highlight of that fight, Loma landed some beautiful shots, like going shot by shot. Mm. It was there's some the mastery of that dude is not, and I'm I'm still I'm standing yeah. by my pick and whatever. But people that are just like still standing by this landslide, mm -hmm. fucking watch it and watch it closely, man. Like yeah, a lot of the shots you think landed didn't, and a lot of the shots you probably didn't see from Loma, mm -hmm. they got in there. There's yeah. a there's a young man who follows the Instagram called um, Tyson Granger who who he's put Shut like a, he's put like a, a a big message like i've watched the fight five times now and i can see why you say it's a draw and i can see why you can say seven five like 
that I think a lot of people, when you actually look into it a little bit more, you can kind of see it. Um, yeah. yeah, there we are. That I mean, that that's that's on on everything. I mean, like I said, we've had a big week. Next week's actually decent as well. Yeah. Next next week next week is a little bit diverse, isn't it? Russ probably on again from the Usec <sighs> bubble, just trying to sort out schedules. I can uh, love that guy. We've got. Uh, Chris Burke, Southern Area Champion on Wednesday. Yep. Uh, we've got the Fight Companion on Saturday. Boop, boop. Boom. Um, and Historia. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to try and do Duran at some point as well. Don't know how we're going to do that. How are we going to do that? I said to Larry, right, messaged him, right, classic Larry. I was like, what do you drink when you're here? And he's like, I only drink water. And I'm like, I've seen you drink Lucasaid and I've seen you drink coffee. <laughs> right? <laughs> And he went, I only drink water. I went, all right. But other than that, like, do you like, there's coffee, obviously is going to be here, but whatever. He's like, I don't have coffee at night. And I'm like, all right, fine. And I was like, so water then. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, what still or sparkling? He's like, I'll mix them. I'm like, (laughs) what what do you mean? So you're going to have partially sparkling water. (laughs) Fuck's wrong with you, geezer. I mean, it's just a fucking you know, nightmare. sparkling water and just shake the fuck out of it oh, and then drink it when it's flat. God. I kind of want to see him get into a row with the soda stream. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to see him do that, but Jesse's probably already nicked it. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Make him do it in his pants. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We've got to make him do it in his underwear so he can't pocket anything. Right? And even then, even then, just jiggling his way out with the cutlery. Yeah. You just never know with that geezer. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking very much so forward to it. We will be able to observe a one meter distance from one each other, boom. But also, boom. also, it's work. So we are yeah. following the guidelines as closely as we can. It is work. I don't want to hear any shit from anyone, right? We will do it exactly as we can. We have all been tested, you know. Maybe we all wear visors. <laughs> I'll just wear the hazmat. Just sit there, fucking. I yeah. was going to say, hey, we're getting paid. At, we're, we're a charity yeah. at the minute. At the minute, <laughs> it's so matter. this is work. Either way, it's fucking work. Don't worry about that. And Jesse's going to come in wearing a condom and say he's wearing protection. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, there's oh. a mental image that's going to stay with a, me now. Yeah, you're going to enjoy that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm looking quite forward to that. I think that would be quite a fun one. Uh, I did dabble with the idea of doing it live and doing it on on YouTube live, but I just think that's an extra element. That's what I was saying. Maybe you turn up a little bit earlier and we have a little play with that. All Um, right, yeah. Because there's a a, a little thing in me that says that that's probably not a bad idea if we do that. But then on the other side to it, we've got four of us in a room. we're, We're watching the fights and speaking and maintaining the recording and the video and everything else it might just be just that that one thing too far for now yeah and we can't live gong it some of us is going to say something that's <laughs> fuck that uh, <laughs> uh mosh is in charge of the podcast twitter now we actually have a twitter and he's too Shout out mosh, thank you. he's absolutely smashing it he, he's just like he don't even need to be asked he's the twitter don he really is. Thank you, um, sir. Yeah. So we have a Twitter now. I still don't really understand what Twitter is. I don't Doesn't think matter. You do Let's start calling out people. Call out Donny T. Yeah. <laughs> it just feels like people walking around shouting to me. <laughs> yeah. At least with Graham, I know there's pictures and videos and you're like, oh, yeah. I like, or I like or I don't like it, you know? Yeah. It's like but books, yeah. man. You go for the ones with the pictures. That's what I'm saying. Always. <laughs> Always. I think there was someone else that was meant to come in next week, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's all a lot going on, isn't there? It is. It How is. long before we have to get a booking agent and an assistant? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, probably now, but fuck It'll it. It'll be quite we'll handy, but I just don't want to pay them. Yeah, we'll yeah. just <laughs> keep just trying to go through at all costs and hope for the best. <laughs> um, because I haven't had a chance to do an ad read yet, a recorded one, I'm going to talk to you about London Cryo, okay? London Cryogenics, stand in. Super cold in your pants, Crocs, gloves, <laughs> holding on to your free card trick, or <laughs> the girls and the vige, 
right? If you're one of the ladies, stand in two, three minutes. What is it? Minus 180. It's right? fucking cold. Basically, the science behind it is that it puts your body into a state of complete and utter shock. You don't die, obviously. And it goes into mega, mega rejuvenation, regeneration mode. And it's very, very popular amongst elite athletes to um, to recover. Like, I I enjoy it. It looks sick on Graham as well, let's be honest. That's not much. That's what it's all about, one. isn't it? Like, you it know, is. real life doesn't exist yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's just... Yep. Uh, London Cryo, and that's CCC25, knocks 25% off full body cryotherapy. Um, and you know what? It's it's something that I think if you're serious about your training, if you're a CrossFitter, if you're – I don't want to talk about people that ride bikes. Um, I don't want to talk about people that like – you know, like it's just, it's, just, it's just dry, isn't it? If you're a couple that goes running together, uh, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you are potentially um, those couples – that go to that place that you used to work and in between rounds, they touch gloves. <laughs> it's definitely not for you. Uh, but who it is for is for rude boys and side things alike that just want to recover better. Yeah, exactly. CCC 25 knocks 25% off full body cryotherapy. And that's for the city and the Belgravia branch. As far as I'm aware, they also have infrared saunas, cryotherapy for the face which is like a treatment thing iv drips i haven't had an iv drip yet i'm no. I'm, I'm, I'm i'm considering iv drip my wife's looking at me i think she wants iv drips um what else they do they do they've got the novatech compression gear which is oh like, yeah i've been on that i have as well it's, i quite like it yeah like it's it, yeah it's like having a stroke in a controlled environment you know you feel it working its way up it's like yeah yeah the uh, the arms were weird, weren't they? Because it was, you just, yeah. <laughs> just felt like you had too many layers on. <laughs> yeah, but they, they've, they've got it all. They've got Theraguns down there. They, they've got a lot. They've got physios there. Basically, London Cryo has done an absolutely exquisite job of finding all of the high-end ways of recovery. You know, if you are about heat or cold shock protein therapy, like they've got the IR saunas, which will cook you up lovely. They've got the cryos, which will chill you out doubles. But London cryo is nice. It's very nice. I'm not. Is that cultural misappropriation? Which is nice. Yeah. Or is that an impression? I think someone that, already did that before us. They have. They have. But uh, yeah. yeah. In homage to the sequel. <laughs> yeah. I've got a Kazakh mate who, um, who I, I obviously I have asked him. He'd, he'd been here for quite a while. And I'm like, how bad was it at the beginning? He was like, it was bad. <laughs> yeah, I fucking bet. It was bad. But he also misses communism. What a niche guy he is. <laughs> he really does. But that's why you followed up with Triple G and it's like, who's got something to say now, motherfuckers? It's like his dad <laughs> was something to do with the sports ministry, right? Who got Triple G into the Olympic program and all of that stuff. No. But there's there's no there's no angle. There's no ah. angle. I wish there was and and to be fair, like rest in peace the, the dad has passed away which is uh, and exactly. it's just like, i don't want to i don't want to bring that on anyway. yeah, yeah, yeah you know what yeah. i mean but no he's he's a g and he um used to call capital fm propaganda <laughs> that's what he called it he's like he's like basically back in uh back in communist kazakhstan we had stuff like this to just program you and i'm like oh it's a little mix though you know <laughs> Yeah. It's the message. Yeah. It's sweet, but psycho. It's not really that much of a message. <laughs> yeah. We're grooving out to Ella Henderson, you and me, aren't we? No? All right, then fine. Awkward. <laughs> anyway, streets, should we wrap that up? I think so. I yeah. think that's the week um, done. For the people that have suggested it before I forget very quickly, I have asked Mosh to make uh, an outro song because apparently people don't like how harshly these episodes end. But as far as I'm aware... All of them just end. I don't know yeah. any podcast that has like outro music, except for like JRE does, but who listens to that? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Also, was... shout out people listening to the end. Thank you for that. Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> you know I mean? like, the stats are up to you. 57% extra. It was like 150% on time on device. That's people Boom. listening, boy. 
I mean, when do we take our victory lap? It's going to be. I think maybe when we're face to face on Saturday. See the blue one. The oh, next yeah. one. It's due, and it yeah, will be, right. It will be due. I'm going to estimate by the end of. But I would say we're going to be within range by the end of next week. You know. I'm I'm quite pleased about that. Me too. Yeah. I mean, it's not gone better than I thought it would because I always think it's going to go way better than what it does. And then I'm always super disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I love the predictions at the start. They were amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but it gives you that like, yeah, baby. And yeah. every day you're like, yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. But there's only so long before you can't deal with that crushing defeat every single time. <laughs> so you may have noticed that they've gone. <laughs> So we don't do those predictions anymore. Although we did have our biggest day, I think it was Wednesday, which which towered, sup, which towered above all of the others. Um, boom, boom! It was pretty good. Like I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I don't know why, or what has has pushed things up to the level that they have, but I'm all right with it. Yeah, fucking, yeah, fuck bring it. on more of it. Yeah, bring on more. Um, we have. And had thank you, everyone, people. for listening. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Um, Patreon.com, Coughcom Q is, I promise you, promise you, we will be doing a lot more on the Patreon. Okay? I promise you this. Exclusive feet picks coming soon. Do you remember how, do you remember how white my feet were in the summer and how tan my legs were? Yeah. I've still got a collection of them. Right? <laughs> we're sitting on a gold mine, there. son. Retirement there package. Let's go. Right. Let's wrap that up. See you a little bit later. Right, uh, a little, little outro. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. There you go, guys. <laughs>